solve the system of equations 2x plus 3y equals 11 and 3x minus 2y equals negative 3 using the method of elimination. Now remember that the method of elimination involves taking a system and converting it into an augmented matrix. So in this case, the first equation would become the row 2, 3, 11, and the second equation becomes the row 3, negative 2, negative 3. And now we're going to use a series of row operations to get a zero in this one element right here so that our pivots form that zigzag. There's lots of ways to do this, but one useful way to start this process is to scale the two rows so that their first entries match. If we scaled the first row by a 3 and the second row by a negative 2, then we'd obtain the matrix whose first row is 6, 9, 33, and whose second row is negative 6, 4, 6. So this is our new matrix. Now these first two elements uh, differ by sign, so we can use the combo move. We could add the elements of row 1 to row 2. If we do that in row 2, we're going to have 6 minus 6, or 0, 9 plus 4, or 13, and 33 plus 6, which is 39. And the first row would remain unchanged. Now note that element Every element in the first row is a multiple of 3, and every element in the second row is a multiple of 13, so we could scale down these two rows. Let's scale down row 1 by a third, and scale row 2 by 1 thirteenth, and this will give us the matrix 2, 3, 11, and 0, 1, 3. Now note that our pivots in this matrix are in that sort of zigzag each pivot appears to the right of the pivots above them. This means we're in row echelon form. If we take these two, uh, the two equations that are encoded by this matrix, we would get three, 2x plus 3y equals 11, and 0x plus 1y equals 3. And we see we've already solved for the y value. If we take y equals 3 and plug it into the top equation, we get 2x plus 3 times y equals 11. So 2x plus 9 is 11 or 2x is equal to 2, and x is equal to 1. So we have the solution x equals 1, y equals 3. One observation that we should make is that it's easy to check that your answers are correct when solving linear systems. Just plug in the x and y values into the two original equations. So 2x plus 3y equals 11, and 3x minus 2y equals negative 3. So if we replace x with 1 and y with 3, the first equation becomes 2 plus 9, which is indeed 11, and the second equation becomes 3 minus 6, which is minus 3. So the two equations check. A second observation to make here is that the minute you get into row echelon form, there's no reason to stop your row operations immediately. By doing a few more row operations, you might be able to simplify the algebra a bit more. For example, if we scale the bottom row through by a minus 3, we're going to obtain a new a matrix. The top row is 2, 3, 11, and the bottom row becomes scaled to 0, minus 3, minus 9. Now note that these two entries match, so if we did the combo move and added the bottom row to the top row, we would get 2 plus 0, 3 minus 3, and 11 minus 2, or sorry, 11 minus 9 giving us the row 202 and the bottom row unchanged. We can now scale both of these rows again. So we scale the top row by half and the bottom row by uh, negative one third. This is going to give us the new matrix 1, 0, 1, and 0, 1, 3. Now if we translate this back into the two systems, the first row reads x equals 1, and the second row reads y equals 3, and we found our solution one more time. So note that there's not one way to solve a system by elimination, and the more effort you put into the row reductions, the easier the final answer is to read off.